This is Davis Hall. It's one of the three freshman residence halls on campus. This one is all girls. Copeland is co-ed by Floor and Gamble is all boys. So each of the freshman halls are built exactly the same. So there's a community area in front. Davis has a pool table. Gamble also has a pool table and Copeland has a ping pong table. There are also various areas throughout the building where you can just hang out, couches, living room, things like that. There's a lot of community in the freshman halls, rooms for students to gather, things like that. So we'll head on to the bath or to the bedrooms. Davis also has the kitchen. It's the only freshman freshman residence hall that The first floor is slightly different than the other floors. The only difference that you're going to see in this room from a room that you would be living in as a freshman is that the door would be situated right in the middle. So we'll come on in this way. Each room in the freshman hall has a bed, a desk, and a dresser for each student. So as you see in this room, there are the two beds, the two desks, and the two dressers. Again, in the rooms that you as students would be living in, the door is going to be right in the middle of here and everything else will be pushed to the side. So you can split the room directly in half with your roommate. Some people choose to loft their bed like this, stick the desk underneath. If both roommates loft their bed and stick their desks underneath, you have room for a couch or a futon there. So you see you have a closet and then upstairs there are two lock boxes also. So you can lock valuable belongings and things like that. We'll head down to the laundry room now. Laundry is included with your room and board, which is really nice in a freshman residence hall. The only thing you need to supply is your laundry detergent and things like that. In each of the freshman halls, this is what the laundry room looks like. You have four washers, four dryers, in a sink, a wash sink. On each hall there are two study carrels. In each of these there's usually about two desks and two chairs where students can come work on homework, things like that throughout the night. Per floor, there are also two of these community living room areas. On each, you have a balcony and a sink. For example of the community bathrooms, there are two of these per floor. As you can see, we have five sinks. There are also three shower stalls and three toilet stalls.